does that even mean, Bowers Game Corner? Hey there, YouTube. I'm back again to help you skip the rules for Pretty Pretty Princess from Hasbro Gamings. It's for two to four players, ages five plus, take it 15 to 25 minutes to play. And the first thing I want to mention is if your box looks different, don't worry. It's still the same game inside. So right now I have everything set up, and I'll explain exactly what you're going to do and how you're going to play the game. So the first thing you're going to want to do is open the board and make sure that every single player in the game is going to have their color pawn and all the jewelry of their color, which will be a bracelet, a necklace, two and two earrings, and a ring. If someone is not in the game, you can just take their pieces and put them off to the side. You will not need them because you will only ever be wearing your colored jewelry or the two special pieces of jewelry right here, which we'll talk about in a second. You also want to make sure that you have positioned yourself so that your color is towards you, so you can move the board if you need to do that. Once everyone's done that, you're going to randomly place your pieces anywhere you'd like to on the board. And yes, you can share the same spot like that has been done. And then you're going to spin the spinner to see who gets the highest number. If there's a tie, break the tie by spinning off until someone finally does get the highest number. They will be the first player. And then you're going to spin the spinner and move that many number of spaces clockwise around the board. And you will always move clockwise around the board. And whatever spot you land on, you're going to do the thing that is on the spot. So now we're just going to break down exactly what all the different spots are, and you'll know exactly how to play Pretty Pretty Princesses, because all the spots deal with jewelry, and that's how you're going to win the game. So the first spot you'll see right here is a multicolored ring. That means you get to put on your colored ring like so. If you already have your colored ring on, then you don't do anything, because once again, you can never take anybody else's colors. Next right here, we have the earring spot. One thing to note is we have two earrings, so you will have to land on this spot twice, but you guessed it. If you land there, you clip on the earring and your turn is over. Next, we have the crown. And this is the most important piece of jewelry in the entire game because you cannot win the game unless you have the crown on. So when you land on the crown, you can either pick it up from the table or you take it from someone if they already have it. And the crown will go from person to person to person, but you must have it in order to win the game. And in fact, to win the game, you have to have on all your jewelry and the crown, but not have the mystery ring on, which is right here. So let's talk about that next. So the mystery ring is this clear ring. And if you ever land on the mystery ring spot, you have to take the ring and put it on. And you can now not win the game until you get rid of that piece of jewelry, which you can do by someone else either landing on the mystery ring spot, in which case they take it from you. So in this case, you know, green would now have the mystery ring on. Or you can also go to this spot right here, which is put one back, which allows you to put a piece of jewelry that you have on back. Now, if you don't have the mystery ring, then this is actually a bad spot because that might mean you might have to put back your necklace. But if you do have the mystery ring, then that means you put the mystery ring back and you are one step closer to winning the game. The last spot I need to mention is the bracelet, which, you know, you put on your bracelet, and then the take any piece, which means you get to put on any piece of jewelry you would like, either the crown or any of your jewelry. But in order to win the game, you have to have on all of your jewelry and you have to have on the crown, in which case you will be the Pretty Pretty Princess. And that, in a nutshell, is how you're going to play Pretty Pretty Princess. If you enjoyed that and it was helpful, please let me know in the comments below where I helped chat at, where all the Pretty Princesses at, let me know your state or country. And as always, thanks for your time, YouTube.